Ezra Ravi E for Ezra fourteen. And it came to pass upon the third day I sat under an oak, and behold, there came a voice out of a bush over against me, and said, Ezra, Ezra. And I said, Here am I, Adonai. And I stood up upon my feet. Then said he unto me, In the thorn bush I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moshe, and talked with him, when my people served in Mitzrayim. And I sent him and led my people out of Mitzrayim, and brought him up to the mount of where I held him by me a long season, and told him many wondrous things, and showed him the secrets of the times and the end, and commanded him, saying, These words shall you declare, and these shall you hide. And now I say unto you, that you lay up in your heart the signs that I have showed, and the dreams that you have seen, and the interpretations which you have heard. For you shall be taken away from all, and from henceforth you shall remain with my son. And with such as be like you, until the times be ended. For the world has lost its youth, and the times begin to wax old. For the world is divided into twelve parts, and the ten parts of it are gone already, and half of a tenth part. And there remains that which is after the half of the tenth part, now therefore set your house in order, and reprove your people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. Let go from you mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto you, and haste you to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which you have seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the time is fled far away, and falsehood is hard at hand. For now hasten the vision to come, which you have seen then answered I before you, and said, Behold, Adonai, I will go, as you have commanded me, and reprove the people which are present, but they that shall be born afterward, who shall admonish them? Thus the world is set in darkness, and they that dwell therein are without light. For your Torah is burnt, Therefore no man knows the things that are done of you, or the work that shall begin. But if I have found grace before you, send the Ruach HaKadosh into me, and I shall write all these. Rather, I shall write all that has been done in the world since, since the beginning, which were written in your Torah, that men may find your path and that they which live, rather, and that they which will live in the latter days may live. And he answered me, saying, Go your way, gather the people together, and say unto them that they seek you not for forty days. But look, prepare you many box trees, and take with you Sariah, Dabriah, Shalom Yahu, Ethan and Asiel, these five which are ready to write swiftly, and come hither, and I will light a candle of understanding in your heart, which shall not be put out, till the things be performed, which you shall begin to write. And when you have done, some things shall you publish, and some things shall you show secretly to the wise. Tomorrow this hour shall you begin to write. 
Then I went forth, rather, then went I forth, as he commanded, and gathered all the people together, and said, Hear these words, O Yashara'el. Our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Mitzrayim, from whence they were delivered, and received the Torah of life, which they kept not, which ye also have transgressed after them. Then was the land, even the land of Sion, parted among you by lot. But your fathers, and ye yourselves, have done unrighteousness, and have not kept the ways which El Elyon commanded you. And forasmuch as he is a righteous judge, he took from you in time the thing that he had given you. And now are ye here, and your brethren among you? Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive, and after death ye shall obtain mercy. For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the wicked shall be declared. Let no man therefore come unto me now, nor seek after me these forty days. So I took the five men, as he commanded me, and we went into the field, and remained there. And the next day, behold, a voice called me, saying, Ezra, open your mouth, and drink that I give you to drink. Then opened I my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full as it were with water, but the color of it was like fire. And I took it and drank. And when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding, and wisdom grew in my breast, for my ruach strengthened my memory. And my mouth was opened and shut no more. El Elyon gave understanding unto the five men, and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told, which they knew not. And they sat forty days, and they wrote in the day, and at night they ate bread. As for me, I spoke in the day, and I held not my tongue by night. In forty days they wrote two hundred and four sepharim. And it came to pass, when the forty days were fulfilled, rather were filled, that El Elyon spoke, saying, The first that you have written, publish openly, that the worthy and unworthy may read it. But keep the seventy last, that you may deliver them only to such as be wise among the people. For in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge. And I did so.